1865. The Civil War leaves cities on the eastern seaboard stripped of resources. The country's booming population needs food. In Texas, over six million cattle roam wild. Worth four dollars a head here, but back east, they're worth 40. By 1868, the railroad spreads from the east, crossing Kansas, but it hasn't reached Texas. There's still 1,000 miles of wild west between the herds and the railroad. For that kind of cattle drive, America needs a new kind of hero. The cowboy. After the Civil War, 60% of the South's population lives in rural poverty. In search of work, a new kind of adventurer heads west to cattle towns like Abilene, Wichita, and Dodge City. One farmhand heading to Texas is Teddy Blue Abbott. 23-year-old Teddy Blue is the son of a Nebraska homesteader. My father wanted to tie me down and make a farmer out of me. Never. I ran away from home to become a cowboy. The cowboy mentality, it's a spirit of individuals. I have a communion with the land, with my horse. It symbolizes a resistance to authority. Teddy Blue is one of 35,000 cowboys who will drive cattle to the railroad in Kansas. Standing in their way, a thousand miles of untamed west. Unforgiving terrain and gangs of rustlers. Only a dollar a day, cowboys must be skilled horsemen and cattle wranglers. The lasso dates back to the ancient Egyptians. Mexican ranchers have been using them for centuries and pass their skills on to cowboys north of the border. Cattle brought over by the Spanish in 1493 had bred with settlers' cows from England, creating a new breed, the Texas Longhorn. After centuries roaming the plains, they're wild and easily spooked. Teddy Blue hears what every cowboy dreads. Stampede. Four cattle drives, Teddy Blue buries three pals. A tough job for tough men. One out of three cowboys is Hispanic or African American. After the Civil War, thousands of freed slaves head to Texas looking for work. One is a 23-year-old from Alabama. Nat Love. It's his first chance to be judged for his skills, not just the color of his skin. The guys on the team are as broad-minded as the planes. It's every Cree for himself and every friend for each other to the end. Many of the cowboys, to the surprise of most of us, happen to be African Americans. Black people have the dream of conquering the imagination just like white people do. The West, vast, wild, lawless, with herds worth up to $200,000. Cowboys guard the cattle with their lives and their guns. 
Guns are a way of life in Texas, then and now. Even today, Texans own over 51 million firearms. It's very intrinsic to the American culture and the American identity. We always had a pistol or a rifle. And I think it's part of, don't try to tell me what to do. I'll fight off my enemies on my own. The cowboy's gun of choice, the Colt 45. Fastest handgun in the West. Six shots without reloading. Colt produces over 30 million guns. The most popular being the iconic 45. In 1873, a Colt 45 cost $17, half a cowboy's monthly salary. Six rounds of bullets, half a day's pay. Frontier men would say Abraham Lincoln may have freed all men, but Sam Colt made them equal. Cowboys drive five million cattle from Texas to the railroad in Kansas, the largest migration of livestock in U.S. history. But one simple invention will soon threaten the cowboy's entire way of life. Barbed wire. In just 20 years, two and a half million new settlers flood into the West. New farms cover half a billion acres of open range. A new battle rages. Cattle rancher versus homesteader. Cowboys like Teddy Blue and farmers are on a collision course. They'd plant a crop next to the trail. When the cattle got into their wheat, they'd come out waving a shotgun and yelling for damages. Boundary disputes are violent, often deadly. One farmer is determined to find a cheap and effective way to keep livestock off his land. Joseph Glidden. When we think about innovation in America, we often think about the big, audacious projects like the Apollo project. But there's another strain to American innovation, and that's the local inventor, an individual genius with some passion in the middle of the night coming up with that big, transformative idea. In the fall of 1873, Glidden has a breakthrough. Using a coffee grinder, he crudely fashions some steel barbs. His problem, how to secure them. Glidden's solution, bind the barbs between two lengths of wire. His design cuts the price of fencing by 70%. Within 10 years, Glidden sells enough to go around the world 25 times carving the plains into countless ranches and farms and blocking the cattle trails. The open range is closed forever. This single invention made possible the settling of the West much sooner and more efficiently than it would have occurred otherwise. Teddy Blue rides one of the last cattle drives to the railroad. The heyday of the cowboy on the open range lasts only 20 years. But settling the Great Plains will mark the end of one way of life. And the birth of another.